The Night of the Hunter, a 1955 film directed by Charles Lawton, is a thriller about a psychopathic murderer named Harry Powell, who poses as a preacher and then preys on vulnerable widows by killing them and stealing their money. The story plays on some of people's greatest fears in ways that leave a lasting impression in the viewer's mind. Not only is the plot of the story creepy enough in its own right, but the film's use of certain narrative techniques adds a heightened sense of paranoia and makes the film's images truly unforgettable. One of these narrative techniques is repetition, which is seen in the use of familiar image throughout the film. According to the textbook, familiar image is defined as any image audio or visual, that a director periodically repeats in a movie, with or without variations, to help stabilize its narrative. And the repetition of such images acts as a signal that a particular event has a meaning or significance that should be acknowledged. This rings true for The Night of the Hunter, because each familiar image in the film is eerie and foreboding. Playing on the audience's expectations, which have been formed by previous scenes in which the familiar images were present. As already mentioned, familiar images can be either audio or visual, and The Night of the Hunter uses both. A few of the most notable familiar images in The Night of the Hunter are backlit silhouettes, half-lit faces, and the haunting tune of the hymn, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms, which is sung over and over by Harry Powell. Both the backlit silhouettes and half-lit faces seen in The Night of the Hunter are familiar images that utilize light and shadow to create a terrifying and looming picture, shedding some light, pun intended, on the true evil nature of Harry Powell. This use of lighting to convey meaning can be largely attributed to the film cinematographer Stanley Cortez. Movie critic Peter Kempton goes so far as to claim that the way Stanley Cortez conjures starkly lit, shadowy scenes is one of the reasons The Night of the Hunter is among his favorite movies. According to Roger Ebert, Cortez himself claimed that he was always chosen to shoot weird things. And just based off watching The Night of the Hunter, this is easy to believe. Cortez's use of light and shadow is often bizarre and divorced from reality, yet it serves a real purpose and is highly effective. With that said, The Night of the Hunter isn't Cortez's only film that manipulates light in a weird way to convey meaning. He also shot a film called The Three Faces of Eve, in which he utilized lighting to show the different expressions of a woman with a psychologically split personality. It seems Cortez was the perfect man for the job of shooting the Night of the Hunter. Now for the familiar images. The first familiar image, the backlit silhouette, is seen at different points in the film to show just how imposing and menacing Harry Powell is, such as this scene in which the psychopathic preacher is waiting outside the house where the children are being sheltered. Because only his black silhouette can be seen and none of his features are visible, he is perceived as a deceptive and completely evil force. Though he is endearing at other points in the film, now he is seen as nothing but terrifying. The second familiar image, the half-lit face, is also used to imply something about Harry's true character. The half of his face that is lit reflects the side of him that most people see, the preacher who should be trusted and respected. The dark half of his face, however, shows the other side of him, the side that very few people see, his wicked side. This image effectively shows the difference between who Harry actually is and who the characters in the film perceive him to be. The third familiar image is not in the form of a visual, but in the form of audio. It is the tune of the hymn, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Harry Powell often sings this when he is up to no good. 
It's a horrifyingly ironic motif, because it's normally such a comforting song. Yet, every time he sings the song, it's creepy and anything but comforting. Instead, it warns that something bad is coming. The characters probably shouldn't be leaning, they should be running. These three examples from The Night of the Hunter perfectly demonstrate how the use of familiar image can be a highly effective narrative technique.